Okay, we praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, the Lord is good. I want to thank God for this day and uh, the opportunity. I uh, thank God. Thank God and for um, this uh, platform. Uh, yesterday, our sister was talking about um, uh, the, the fruit of the spirit, which uh, is love. And I, I, I was dwelling on that. I read uh, Galatians 5, 20, 22 again. I'm sending it on the chat. And uh, it says that, the fruit produced by the Holy Spirit within you is divine love in all its varied expressions, joy that overflows, peace that subdues, patience that endures, kindness in action, a life full of virtue, faith that prevails, gentleness of heart and strength of spirit. Never set the law above these qualities for they are meant to be limitless, hallelujah. Mm. So this this passage from the uh, uh, from the uh, passion translation, uh, you know, certainly brings it out for us. Love is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. By the time we dwell in the presence of the Holy Spirit, uh, speak and and we pray in the Spirit, the fruit which is love, you know, find expression. It it gains momentum in us it it you know climbs and it goes to higher levels as we dwell in in that presence of god so i want to always dwell in that presence to always dwell in that presence and continue to pray in the spirit and as we continue to pray in the spirit the love of god is developing is growing it is growing from one measure to another even when we go back to first corinthians 13 and uh, verse four to eight, we see the qualities of love there. Love gains momentum. When we pray in the spirit, you just find yourself, you know, easy. It's easy for you to love others. It's easy for you to be able to uh, display the qualities of love, patience, kindness, and, and endurance. You are able to manifest the fruit of the spirit as you continue to, you know, work in the spirit, as you continue to pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to, 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 to build up our spirit, man, as we know, know that fact behind us, knowing that, uh, taking that as a, uh, a, a, an intentional, a deliberate thing that, oh, this is what is happening in the realm of the spirit. As I'm praying in the spirit, my love, my love gauge is, is being built up and I'm you know, because it's the nature of God. We already have the love of God in us. So it's fine full expression. Say, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love for one another. So when we pray in the spirit, you know, it's easier for us to love the brethren. It's easier for us to display the love of God, the agape love of God that is limitless, that is unfading, that is undying, that is lasting forever. We just find it easy. It's easier. Hallelujah. So I want us to continue even after the time out of, you know, the time that we spend here to always dwell in the spirit, even at home when we pray, pray more in the spirit. And we find out that our, our love life, our life of expression of love, you know, it takes on a new dimension. It, it takes on a new level and God is glorified and we are pleasing to him. Because that's what actually matters to him. The Bible says God is love. Hallelujah. We are Amen. taking us of our father. And we are becoming more like him. Our light is getting brighter and brighter until the perfect day. So that is just my exaltation and my encouragement this afternoon. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.